Hi everyone, Sarah here today to share another layout with the Color Rush Studios uh, sweater weather kit. I am sitting here going through all these papers. It was really hard for me to choose what I wanted to use because there's just so many pretty papers. Um, I am actually scrapbooking a collage of photos for this layout. Um, and I think that's another thing that caused it to be a little harder for me to choose papers with this one. Um, this year in the area that I live in, it's been really rough with weather. And um, we had two major set of tornadoes come through here. And these pictures are some pictures. I think this one was right after Father's Day or Father's Day weekend. Um, and there were a tornado came through right behind our house um, and busted down trees. We had no power there. I had to fight with a fence to get my daughter's scooter off the fence um, and a bunch of other stuff. So it was just, I don't know interesting to scrapbook these photos. Um, I don't think I've scrapbooked the ones from March either. That was horrible. Um, anyways, uh, I went ahead and chose that background paper with the splatters on it. That's from the bold, um, the bold and basics paper collection. Um, I kind of like the messiness and splatters of it. Um, and I didn't realize when I was cutting it the first time that I cut a little too much off of one side. That's why you see me flipping the pages here. Um, but I still use it and I just cut it down a little bit. Um, and then I went ahead and grabbed that pretty leaf paper, uh, for the other portion of the layout. Um, in my brain, they, the reasons why worked, um, but yeah, and I wanted some more color on there. So I went ahead and cut a mat for my photo cluster um, out of this blue plaid. It's gorgeous. Um, just because it was a, you know, not so great memory doesn't mean that it can't be scrap pretty. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this uh, splattered one down and then go ahead and add the leaf one on top of it. Um, I'm guessing that some of y'all have been through some really nasty weather and everything, but this is the first time, uh, this year that I've had to deal with it so close to home. Uh, second time this year that we have been out of power, uh, for long periods of time because of so much damage from tornadoes. So it was just interesting. Um, here I'm going to go ahead and add the mat. I don't add too much dimension to this layout. Um, I keep it pretty straightforward. You see me straighten or flatten down a part that I had roughed up with my fingernail so I could get my photo to sit correctly. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I, I love all the colors in this collection in this whole kit because they're just beautiful and bright. And I'm sorry, you hear my dogs messing around in the background, but um, it's so beautiful and bright. And so right here, I went ahead and added a little more color in by adding my... Um, you know, going through and cutting that with my punch and adding it to uh, my layout there. Yeah, I try to decide if I want to have it down or up, but I decided to put it uh, on the upper side of the leaves. And then I messed those up as well with my fingers just to add some more texture to it. And eventually I'm going to have to push them down a little bit because, again, I'm sticking my uh, photos on top. Here I'm pulling out all the embellishments and then a ton of stuff that I had fussy cut out. Um, I don't know about you, but sometimes when my mojo's a little low, sometimes I will sit there and I will just fussy cut things out that I know I'll use later. So I went ahead and did that uh, with this one night when uh, I just really didn't feel like scrapbooking. Um, I looked over the thickers because I was looking to see what I wanted my title to be. I kind of found something, so I moved on to start embellishing before I stuck my title down. That uh, That is going to be what I journal on. I decide on that card because it's got more color and everything to it, and I love this cork leaf right here. I think it's gorgeous, and it stays. Again, more texture. It's beautiful, um, and... I just like the way it looks on there. So I make sure that one stays as well. I'm going to go through and you saw I went through the entire pile of um, embellishments and things I had fussy cut and picked out some things I was going to use. Um, I'm going to rough up the sides. I adhered the photo down, but I only did the center so I could make sure that I could tuck things under. 
I went ahead and drew some lines lightly on here with a pencil so that I could go ahead and journal about what was going on and what had happened um, and erase the lines that I had drawn on there. Um, at, least they're, at least they're straight now. Um, because if I would have done that without drawing the lines, they would have not been straight at all. They would have been all over the place. So I went ahead and put a piece of tape through the center of that and added it down. And here's where I start pulling my title. Um, and to me, like I said, a lot of this makes sense. The background has a ton of leaves on it. Um, so many leaves is going to be the title. But I mean, because of the time of year it was, it was spring. Everything was starting to bloom. There were branches and there were trees and there were limbs and leaves everywhere. And the cleanup was so much fun. Um, so for me, the title just made sense. So many leaves. It just worked for me. Um, so I had pulled out that set of thickers um, that you can also get in the shop. I can't remember exactly what they're called. Um, but yeah, you can get those in the shop as well. And here I'm starting to mess with some of the ephemera that I decided to go ahead and put on the layout as well. I cut out um, a bunch of those hexagons from that pattern paper and I thought they would be fun to add in since I wanted to use that uh, one with the leaf on it as it is. And so here I'm going to go ahead and rough up the edge of some more of those little things that I went ahead and cut out. Um, and I love that yellowy color. Um, so I make sure to add that in. I use those clouds. I didn't even think about that when I put them down. I use those clouds up on the top as well. It was beautiful after all the horrible, horrible weather went through. It was gorgeous. Just a few little puffy clouds in the sky and that's it. And I thought those ca uh, clouds added a, a fun little texture to the top of it. Um, you can also get those in the Color Rush Studio shop as well. Um, let's see. I'm, I'm still layering things down and I had already fussy cut some little things out and I go ahead and actually put that there as well. Um, at the moment I can't crunchy leaves, I believe is what that says. So like I said, the leaves thing made complete sense to me. <laughs> so, um, and here I went and stuck that, uh, down and it was crooked. Um, and so I had to pull it up carefully and uh, go ahead and add it back down. I want to use this leaf and I thought I was going to use it up there, um, by the sew and I decided against it. I wanted to make another cluster down here. So I went ahead and added the leaf in down there, um, looking to add some more of that yellow. So it, you know, it's in another place on the layout and uh, I go ahead and tape that down. Um, and this is you know, get this whole cluster put together. And I do, after I tape this stuff down and I get the leaf down, um, I pull that little acorn you see over there to the left-hand side and I rough its little edges up and add it as well. Let's see. Yeah. And I decided to start, go ahead and uh, get those clouds stuck down. And they stick great with just a little bit of glue put on the back of them and they don't add too much dimension. It's so much fun. I found this little bird and I went ahead and stuck him up here by the tree. He was just cute. Um, of course, I try to find more ephemera and play with it, but uh, right here I just go ahead and trim things off and that finishes up my layout. Um, I really do hope that you enjoyed this layout and make sure to go check out Color Rush Studio and look at their old St. Nick kit that just came out for November um, and come back and see what else I make. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.